Hi, I'm Shelly Gaskins, horticulturist with Smithsonian Gardens. My name is Ava Schwarz and I'm a horticulturist at the Enid A. Hop Garden and I'm also our social media manager. This exhibit focuses on coral reefs and their role as a foundation species within an oceanic ecosystem. It also focuses on how we have an impact on coral reefs and how we can help them. The thing that surprised me most about creating this exhibit was how little I actually know about coral reefs. That was a big education in coral reefs and then also in the plight of the coral reef. I did a lot of um, helping with installation and picking out which succulents we were going to put into the reef to um, the reef display to represent coral and helping kind of put the reef together and installing it in the pond that it's in right now. Visitors, they really like that there's a fountain in the middle of the exhibit and a lot of visitors spend a lot of time looking at it. It's a really fun photo op spot, especially since you can sit right next to it and kind of enjoy the exhibit and the water sounds from all the fountains. I see them reading the panels and having discussions um, about uh, their visits to the, the shoreline and I've had a number of conversations with people who have actually gone snorkeling on coral reefs. A lot of visitors love to learn that we didn't actually use coral in the exhibit. We used rocks that are very similar looking to coral and I think that's really cool. The Foundations of the Sea exhibit really brings home the central theme of the habitat ex exhibition that protecting habitats protects life by explaining the importance of coral within oceanic ecosystems. Coral is providing homes for species, it's providing food, um, and it, then the species that are living there are food sources for larger species. I think the biggest benefit of this ex exhibition is that it raises awareness of A, the science of conservation, and B, what we can do to help. I think this exhibit does a good job of going into detail on the importance of a foundation species, what makes a coral reef a foundation species, and how a loss of a coral reef will impact someone who even lives in a landlocked location. There is hope for the coral reef with science and also with changes in, in our everyday lives that the coral reef can still exist. A lot of people don't have access to oceans, or if they do, they aren't going out and visiting coral reefs regularly, so it kind of brings that ecosystem closer to people who wouldn't always be exposed to it and it's also just really a beautiful display and brings people into the garden which we're always looking to do.